back in uh, the early 1900s, a guy by the name of Dominic Cigna, who owned a grocery store over in the Delta Greenville, was uh, passing tamales out to the farm workers out the back door. And at some point, someone came up and said, hey, can you cook this steak? And he did, and then served the steak with the tamales, thus the infusion of the Delta tamales and the steak, which is what Doe's is known for. Steak and tamales, we do have uh, chili, we have uh, corn and crab bisque. We also are gonna have a Creole gumbo for uh, our soup. Uh, we do serve chicken tenders for the children. And we, and we do have fried, broiled, and grilled shrimp. So you, you get a, a full variety of things. Okay, yes, to all of the above. You think, okay. Um, now, are you a tamale girl? Do you like tamales? I've had them before um, at one of the other places here in town, but I like these so much better. And I didn't think that I would like them, but I just, these are so good. Expert on tamales. Tell me what, a, I mean, a tamale, you've had bad tamales and you've had, so tell me the difference between those and these. And then I had a friend in Los Angeles who was Mexican and she actually would make me homemade tamales in the corn husk. And hers were good and firm like this, yeah. and lots of flavor. To me, a good steak is, it needs absolutely no sauce. You just eat it in the marinade or in the in the juices that it has. That's the perfect steak for me. And that's what they do. They have the au jus sauce with it. So it's already on there, and that's what makes their steak so different from everybody else's. They keep the sauce, the au jus sauce. They don't overcook it. And they drizzle it over, and it's so good.